Hey, what is up guys? It is Ryder or Taylor here, and I'm back with a brand new My Division Agent. Now this is going to be episode 6, and this is going to be the last one before the Underground expansion drops on the 12th. Hopefully after that we'll have a couple, or you know, once I've played the Underground for a couple of days, I'll have an update on My Agent, and show you what I'm rolling with, and maybe what new gear sets I've acquired, or what weapons. But in this episode, we're just going to go over what I'm rolling with just before the Underground drops. And um, as you can see here, we're now at 200 gear score, still level 30 PvE. One thing I'm really looking forward to in Underground, you're going to get a separate level, and that's the Underground level. So a bit like Dark Zone, but Underground. And uh, yeah, so we're level 50 Dark Zone. we still got the high-end SOCOM M1A, and we're actually rolling with a high-end AUG or... Org A3 Para XS. This was actually the one that's been sold in the base of operations, not this week, but last week. And it's really, really good weapon. And, uh, you know, if you got it, you've g got yourself a good steal. And um, that's just a sidearm. So we currently played 7 days, 10 hours, and 48 minutes. So let's have the character creation screen. Let's hop in and show you the gear sets and the armor I'm running with. So we're now on our loadout screen or overview screen, whichever one you want to call it. Let's jump straight into the org and uh, show you what talents are on here. So the first talent is deadly, which is critical hit damage is increased by 26%. One of the best talents in the game, if not the best. And the other talent is responsive, which is damage increased by 13% when closer than 10 meters to the target. This is a very good talent to have on an SMG, considering it is a close range weapon. You're going to be using it in really close quarter combat. So this is another really, really good talent. You're going to be most of the time within 10 meters and, you know, getting that buff of 13% is a really good one. And obviously the other talent is swift. You know, you don't really notice a 13% faster reload speed, so it's, it's nothing amazing. But this org is actually one of the, I guess, funnest weapons I've used in a long time. Comparing it to my Navy MP5, obviously the org has a slower rounds per minute. But it just it feels more more punchy of a weapon, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Obviously, I've shown you the SOCOM before, but I'll just go back over it. It's a capable, you know, using a skill improves the handling of this weapon for 13 seconds. Pretty much as soon as you pop a pulse or any other skill, you know, your firing is going to be pretty much pinpoint. The reticle isn't going to be all over the place. And you're not going to have to control it as much for those 13 seconds. So that's very good. And obviously, commanding every kill performed with the signature skill is active. Extends its duration by 18.50. So, you know, you're going to have to have a high skill number to have this one activated. I, I currently don't, as you can see. So, I, I don't really feel I'm missing out because, you know, as soon as you pop that uh, survival link, whatever it is, you're going to want to do whatever it is quick. And uh, the other talent is sustained. Killing a target increases your health by 6%. So, a nice little one there. But less of the weapons, let's go over to the gear. So we're still running with the higher end chest piece, and that's the operator vest with reckless on it, which is increased damage by 13% and increased incoming damage by 10%. It's got the plus 565 armor, plus 11% protection from elites, and plus 8% damage to elites. One of the best operator vests I think you can get, uh, made major attribute wise anyway and we've got the minor attributes of increased kill experience i'm hoping this is going to come in handy down in the underground with that level i wonder if that's the same sort of thing and obviously sticky bomb damage but i don't run with a sticky bomb the mask is a lone star mask and it's a plus 4.50 critical hit chance plus 12 percent burn resistance and 8.5 percent ballistic shield health but it's rolled on firearms and stamina, so a nice little uh, mask there. And obviously we've got the set bonus of 2, which is 100% ammo capacity. Let's go over to the other Lone Star item, which is the holster. The holster is rolled on all three, so one of the nicest holsters I've got. I know the gear score is low, but you know having it rolled on all three is a nice advantage. It's the main, um, uh, the major attributes are plus 344 armor. And the skill attribute is plus 2.5% ballistic shield damage, or 2.50. I don't know if it makes a difference, you'll have to correct me on that. Let's jump up to the backpack here, which is a striker's pack. Rolled on uh, firearms, major, uh, major attributes are 19% critical hit damage. Minor attributes are plus 14% bleed resistance. And we got the plus 9% skill bomb damage 
a skill bomb damage, a sticky bomb damage, sorry, and a plus 8.50% turret duration. Now, Striker's Battle Gear, we've actually got the two set bonus again, which is enemy armor damage, a nice plus 20% there. So that is obviously uh, damage to enemy armor within PvE, I think it only is, is increased by 20%, so that's quite nice. Now I am lost. Let's go on to the uh, gloves. We've got Striker's gloves here, which are rolled on firearms. Very nice gloves, actually. Critical hit damage is increased by 34%, with critical hit chance increased by 6%, and 365 SMG damage. Very good, considering I'm using an SMG. Probably one of the best gloves you can get, but I'm not one to say they are the best. Also, plus 3 ballistic shield damage. Let's go down to the knee pads, which are actually final measure knee pads. We've got protection from elite and plus 256 armor. Rolled on stamina there. We've got plus 85% scavenging, plus 27% 20, plus blind death resistance, and plus 25% bone resistance. Skill attribute is first aid ally heal. Now, we haven't got any of the um, set bonuses there because we are only rolling with one. So, unfortunately, we're going to miss out on ex exotic damage, resilience, and protection from elites. And I think that is it. I'm pretty sure I covered all of them there. So, we've done the chest, done the backpack, done the mask, done the gloves, done the... Yep. So, all of that is done. Let's go over to the character and show you what my armor mitigates at. As you can see, the armor is 10% or, you know, 9% away from the mitigation cap, which is 75. We're at 65.95. I'm trying to get this up as high as I can before I go into the underground. But I don't know if any of you saw my tweet, and I just haven't really played this that much. You know, it's, it's not fun playing on your own. I think there might be a, a group I'm rolling with soon, which will be exciting. It's going to bring a lot more videos to this channel. But uh, yeah, a nice little quick one here before I have to go to work and before Underground drops. I do want to say thank you so much for all the support lately. I think we've gained something like 39 subscribers in the last 30 days. That's unreal. I think the average is something like 2 or 2 to 3 subscribers a day. This is, you know, it's really nice to see my channel growing like this. I've had a lot of help from a lot of people as well. So uh, yeah, just thank you so much. If you are new to these videos, make sure you click that like button if you enjoyed it. And if you're new at all to the channel, make sure to click subscribe. Oh god, make sure you click subscribe for all future Division videos, including underground videos, because I have got two days off work to play that, which I can't wait for. But until then, I'll see you all soon, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.